Today we're going to take a look at how to create a product catalog in Facebook using um, a product feed. In this case we're going to use the feed from the Pixel Perfect app and here is our product feed. So the first thing to do is hop on over to Facebook and go to Business Manager and then we're going to go over to the Catalogs section of Business Manager. And the first thing you want to do is uh, create a catalog. You can see I have a number of other catalogs here. We're going to ignore those today because I have a number of different businesses, a number of different uses. But we're going to go ahead and create a catalog. Uh, which catalog best describes your business? Well, it's a Shopify store. It's an e-commerce store. Uh, products sold online. So we're going to select that. And then we're going to hit the next button. It says, who owns this catalog? So what's the account that uses it? Uh, well, it's my Katie's Boutique Business Manager account is the owner of the catalog. Um, if you use Business Manager, I would suggest that's what you should be using, not personal account. Give your catalog a unique name. Well, I'm going to call it Test Catalog Demonstration. So because I've got all of those other catalogs, I can now tell this one apart so I know what I'm talking about. It's going to create the catalog and we'll view the catalog. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, give it a data source. So where is it going to get its information from? So we're going to add the data source. We're going to select to use data feeds because we have a feed URL here. So we're going to copy that feed URL. Obviously uh, you take your own URL from your own store depending on what feed app you're going to use. Uh, we're going to set a schedule. So typically you want to do this once a day so your products are uploaded um, each day. So as you add new products, remove products from Facebook uh, from your Shopify store, the, that change will be reflected in your Facebook catalogue. So the theory is you can never sell anything that's out of stock um, and as you add new products they're always quickly added. So just be aware that those changes can take a while. Facebook is not instant. Everyone seems to think they're going to click on something, go to Facebook, it's going to be instant. What, they, what It's there right away. It's not the case. Um, your schedule, let's say you set it 24 hours and I upload a feed, that means the schedule is not going to run again for another 24 hours because we've set it to run once a day. So even though the feed on my store has changed, the product catalogue might not reflect that for another 24 hours. Then what it will do is it will go away to the feed and it will get that information in 24 hours time and it will process it. And processing does not happen instantly. That can take up to 24 hours. Typically it's quicker than that. It could be 15 minutes, could be half an hour. It depends on what's going on with Facebook at the time, what the load is on it, how many products you've got, all sorts of things. Uh, but just don't expect it to be instant. Give it time and have some patience with it. So I'm going to put the URL in here. Uh, that's the one that I've copied and pasted from the Pixel Perfect app here. Uh, schedule it. Well, we're going to have it daily and 4:20 p.m. Well, yeah, okay, that, that doesn't really matter. Enter the feed name that will help us find the feed. So I'm going to call it um, Test Feed Number One. Now, if you have more than 1,000 products in your feed. You'll, add to, you'll need to have a second feed and a third feed. Sorry, I, let me be clear about this. More than 1,000 products in your store uh, and you want 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,000 products in your Facebook catalogue, you can only have a maximum of 1,000 products in a feed um, and that's due to limits on resources within Shopify and the way Shopify provides the products. The maximum you can get out of it is about 1,000 at a time. So if you have 2,000 products, you need to create one catalogue and then add a feed to it which contains a thousand products and then add a second feed to it which contains a second 1000 products and the way you get more products with this is you take your feed URL and you put question mark page equals two and that will give you a second page of an additional thousand products Now this feature is called pagination so the feed that is provided is in multiple pages page one, page two, page three, page four and each page contains 1,000 or up to 1,000 products. So page one, first thousand products, question mark page two, second thousand products, question mark page three, third thousand products. So you just keep adding the feed 
with the right page number and it will add the first thousand, the second thousand, the third thousand. Um, so where we've added a feed, we just go in and we add another feed and we go in and we add another feed and we use pagination to get to the numbers that we want. Select the default currency where well, my store is in British pounds because I'm one of Her Majesty's citizens. Uh, is United Kingdom there? Probably not. This is weird. Every, everywhere else says United Kingdom, but here it says GBP, so let's go with that. I'm going to start the upload. So it says your feed is being uploaded. Okay, it's not instant, it's not just happened. You need to have patience with it. Um, and I would leave this screen open, really. Just leave, leave it open, you can see what's going on. Um, what's happening is Facebook is going to my store, it's taking that feed and it's bringing all of those products in across the internet into Facebook. Then what it will do is it will process that feed because the feed is a kind of language of its own. It's, it's a, if you look at it, it, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So we can open up another window here and put that feed URL into there. And you have to do this using the Chrome browser. And you'll see here, this is what the feed looks like. So this is the kind of language that Facebook needs the data from Shopify in to be able to process it. And if you look a little bit more carefully, it says, um, here's your product ID. Here's the description of it, and or the title of it. Here's the full description of it. Uh, here's the URL of it, the URL of the product. Then we've got some URLs of the images. <clears throat> so it's a, it's in a specific way that Facebook requires that feed. So let's go back and see what it's doing. Uh, importing, done. So now we're going to have a look at the products to see if it's actually been imported. Uh, this may take a while, uh, and to start with it might not show anything. And the reason for that is because Facebook has uploaded the feed, and then it's going to process that feed, and, it, and processing takes time. So here you can see it's imported 984 products from my store. Here are all those products. And if you click on a, I sell lingerie by the way, as if you didn't guess that. Uh, if you click on those products, it should have, there you go, the information. It's got the, the URL, it's got the website link to the product, product type. Now you can go ahead and you can do Facebook ads using the content of that feed. Um, you may get some errors. And let's have a quick look, see if we're getting any errors here. Nothing very much going on. It, you may get errors saying, you know, the feed is in the wrong format or yada, yada, yada. Just ignore it. Just ignore it. Facebook is full of crappy error messages that don't make a lot of sense. Um, the reason for that is it is designed to work with anything. Not just Shopify, anything. Uh, and that's a pretty broad statement that if you want it to work across all e-commerce stores, across all platforms, across everything, you have to just give generic instructions, you know, the, the, the lowest common denominator of generic instructions. So sometimes it will throw error messages up that are just not relevant to you, but they are relevant to somebody else who's got a different type of store. Now we're going to connect a data source to it. So we're going to connect a pixel to this now. And it's telling me which pixels are available and which one do I want to connect it to? I'm not actually going to connect it to any of them because um, I've already got stuff connected to it and this is the one that I use. Uh, but normally you would select the pixel that you want, you'd hit the done button, that would then connect that pixel to your catalog and if you go over to, um, let's go back to my store, Katie's Boutique Code.uk and we'll have a look what that looks like in order to test it. So we'll go and find a product. Let's go to lingerie. We'll pick a product. And we should see up here with the pixel helper tool. There's your there's your information. So they're all showing green. Now what I would say about the pixel helper tool is this is a tool that Facebook provides for you to test things. It's a diagnostic tool. It's not God and it is wrong sometimes. Um, so just be aware that when you're looking at it, it is up to you to interpret what you're seeing, not not take what this thing is saying as being absolute gospel truth um, and there's a problem somewhere else. It may be there's a problem with the helper tool. Um, 
you just need to be able to interpret it and say it's a it's a diagnostic tool it's not there to tell you exactly what is and what isn't the case um, also it has a bug sometimes it will come up with say six here you'll click on it and it'll say no pixels found a way to get around that is just click here your browser and go to settings open up another window doesn't matter what's in that window go back to the first window and mysteriously it will all appear that's a bug in the pixel helper tool why I do not know but it, it is that way uh, so we're seeing everything is green and what that means is Facebook has received the event loud and clear and it's all good now bear in mind you're using Facebook's tool here um, sometimes you go into business manager and you and you won't see things and you'll go oh, this doesn't work that doesn't work this is telling you 100% it is working so do not worry about it Facebook has got the data loud and clear and it's showing here green which means it's working what's in business manager is a different thing now Facebook may or may not decide to show you this data in business manager and that's called attribution the reasons why things may not be attributed and why they may not display and Facebook has an algorithm that that decides whether or not to show something the other thing to remember is it takes time so Facebook are getting literally billions of events around the planet firing at it every single millisecond of the, the day and it takes time for it to process those things and to display those results in business manager now that could take again 24 hours if Facebook's having a blip it could take 48 hours and sometimes it's taken up to a week for it to get its act together and start showing data when it's had problems it's not infallible it's a software platform it does have problems um, but anyway so looking here we'll expand out the view content event because we're looking at a page that has content on it and you'll see we've got the product group we've got the content ID of the um, the item we're looking at pixel perfect has the ability to tag uh, the product with niches so if I go back and look at the pixel settings um, well I'm looking in the wrong place sorry uh, it's here we go enable niche custom event pixel niche product feed is checked if that box is checked you're able to drop tags on products that that have niche data in them and that allows you to segment things out more in uh, in Facebook with product sets so we can see here niche is genera product type is shorts if we want to segment that out we can go back to our um, I've closed it now but you can go back to the product catalog and you can create product sets based on that information so if you were using a pet store for example that sold dog products and you sold cat products you'd be able to segment out your product set using tags and and just create product sets of only cat products or only dog products because obviously cat people are not interested in dog things and dog people are not interested in cat things so it's it's key to show the right things to the right people but that's a quick run through of how to create um, a basic Facebook catalog uh, how to associate your pixel with it how to get more than 1,000 products into it if uh, if you have that what I would say about 1,000 products if, if you've got 1,000 products are you really running dynamic ads for a thousand products you know are you really selling 1,000 products every day to the route to the tune of 20 products a day which is what Facebook needs in order to to make some sense of the data um, if you are and you're, you're spending one dollar per ad per product you're spending a thousand dollars a day um, if you're spending you know ten dollars a day you're spending ten thousand dollars a day on that I, I suspect you're not most people have winners you know half a dozen winners this is one of mine and maybe six or seven products are the winners they're the ones you should be focusing on not not the other 950 products that don't make any sales um, people seem to think having more products is great it, it's not focus on what wins focus on what makes you money focus on the small number of products any questions about it, you can drop me a line tony at wiredup.com w-y-r-e-d hyphen up.com or support at wiredup.com if you've got the pixel perfect app you can drop support notes uh, right there in the app uh, let's have a look here help there you go so you can fill in that form message me and we'll get back to you typically within 24 hours Be, bear in mind we're in the United Kingdom most people are in the United States they bitch at me that it's taken 12 hours to get back to them uh, that would happen if you send me an email at 10 o'clock at night and I'm asleep 
So uh, I have to get up in the morning and deal with it then. So just have a little bit of patience. It takes, takes time to get back. Any problems, drop us a line. It'd be great to hear from you.